Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we are going to learn about tables and curd operation in VVCS page. How we can add a table to display the data, display the business object data. And then after we will learn how we can create the different different page for creating using the curd operation. For updating the record, creating the new records and deleting the previous records and all these things we are going to learn in this video. In this video, you will learn about displaying the business object data into the VVCS page with the help of table components. Here you will learn to create curd operation page in VVCS. Let's begin to the practical part. So here you can see as we are going to create and work on new components, I am going to create new application. You can use previous one, there is no any issue. So let's create a new application. I will give the name as table app. And here I will use demo table app. Table demo apps. Let me add this. One. Click on finish. New application will be created. And inside this application, we have to create a new web application. That was Visual Builder application. This is the Visual Builder application. And in the Visual Builder application, we can have multiple web pages, web application. So we have to create web application now. So click here, select, give the name as I will to give the name as table app and here I will create the click on create button so table app will be created and inside the app we have main flow and inside the main flow we have default page so in a way visual builder application we can have multiple web application and inside the web application we can have multiple pages so now here you can see this is our default main start page so before going to add a table components here, we have to create the business object, right? So that we can display the data of business object here. So go to the business objects. As you can see, we created business object in previous application, previous business with visual builder application. So we cannot access that application, that business object here, right? So we have to create a new business object. So I will click on this business object, give the name as employee PO and click on create. So new business object will be created with employee bio name and now we have to add the columns in the business object or fields in the business object. So you know that whenever we are creating any business object by default, few columns created that is considered as a who columns. And here we have one more column is ID. This is the main column based on which we will perform operation all these things. So here we have to add the column, click on plus icon, go to field and here give the column name. So I want to give the column name as employee code. Employee code type will be so a string. So let it be the same. Click on create field. So now you, one field created. I want to make this employee field as a mandatory. So I will select here as unique and required. Unique so that this value cannot be duplicate and required so that it can be a, a required field. Now go to, to plus icon, add another field. Another field I want to add that employee name. Click on create field so new employee field created name field now go for the employee i will directly go for age and this age i want to go for number click on create now after that i want to create the email and it will be worker create now i want to create one department so let me add the department here so let me add the give the label as department so now you can see different different table columns created in the business objects. If you will go to the data, we have we don't have any values. Even we can add the value here. So just click on the row and you can see ID automatically populated using auto ID. And now here we have to give the employee code. I will give the at E001. Age as 25. Department as D001. And the email, suppose I want to give name rahul raja at gmail.com and name rahul raja that kind of things we can go click on add row so new record will be created in the business object if you want to add one more row you can make a copy and even you can go again you go and add one row so for creating the copy here you can see we have copy option once we will click the duplicate record will be created here so you can see the duplicate record cannot be created without this this employee code cannot be duplicated as we selected as a unique. So again, I will go add one more row. 
E002. I will give the age as 23. Department E001. And email Sanjay at yahoo.com. And here email Sanjay Sarma. So all these details we can add here by default. So now our business object having two records, right? Two values. So now this business object we will link to our main page. This is our main page, right? So here in the main page, we will add the table. So I don't want to remove all this design and all. So let it be the same. Instead of this main, I want to change the S as employee details. And I will make this little bit larger. So let it be the same. And yeah. So here you can see we added the text, all these things. Now we have to add the table, right? For adding the table, click on the components. And here we have to select the components, table components. So here search table and you can see this is our table. I will drag this table components here. You can see when we are dragging the table by default few columns displayed. And here we have to map this table with our business object so that business object data can be displayed here. So for adding that one select the table and here you can see the quick start tab properties inside the properties quick start tab we have option to add the data. Click here it will ask you to select the business object. So this is the business object I want to add. So select business object, go to next and it will ask you all the columns you want to display on the table. So I want to display the column like employee code, employee name and the, the age, email department. So these are all four or five columns I want to display, right? So go to the next. And here if you want to add filters and all you can add. Remember what I told you whenever we are creating business object for that business object default endpoint created endpoint is that rest API based on that we can access the business object we can delete the business object elements and all so here you can see get all employee view is the endpoint here even if you want to add filter you can add filter here and let it be the same click on finish so now you can see the table having all the columns whatever columns we added Right. And now if you want to run the application here, you can see go to the run and you can see the page will having the table and the table having this all the columns, whatever we configured and the data for that business object. Here you can see the employee details page having the table and this table having two records and the two records is displaying here. Now here we have to add the card operation so that user can create new record on the page, delete the record, preview the record details and all. So how we can do? Go to the page and here you, once you will select this one. Remember in VVCS table component having the facilities to auto generate the curd page. How it can be generated? So select the table components. Go to the properties again in quick start here. You can see we have add page, add create page. So click here. It will ask you the business object. Go to next and it will ask you all the columns you want to display while creating. So that user can input. So you can see one field employee code is automatically populated here. Why? Because employee field is required in our database or in our business object. Next of the column we have to add. So I will add employee name, employee age, department, email. That's it. Go to the finish here. This is the button label. What button you want to set? I want to give the button label as create. And this is the page title. What you want to give the page title name? So I will give the page title as create new employee and here the page name I want to give the page name as create employee now finish so you can see new page created with the button so same page create having the new up button that is create and for this create new page the automatically created and if you will go you can see the page main create employee if I will create here click here you can see that the page having the details create a new employee this is a text we added and all the columns we mentioned and having two buttons cancel and save so if you will go to the main page and if you will run the page run the application you can see the application web page is having one button to create new records so here you can see we have button create so if i will click on this create button new page will be redirected and here it will ask to insert the details and you can see employee code is required here. So here we have to provide the details. So let me provide the details E003 name Rahul Sarma age 
23 department d002 email rahul dot s at oracle dot com and once you will click on save this data will be inserted into business objects click on save and it will show up the pop-up message you can see employee bio saved employee bio record successfully created and you can see the new record displayed here in the table as we link this table with the business object so the same way we can create different pages so here again go to the select the table go to the properties and the quick start select the add edit page it means update page select the business object go next select the business object again go to next and select all the column you want to update so here i want to update the employee name age the de email departments and here this is the button names i will give the name as update and here it will be update employee details and this is the page name now click on finish you can see once we click on the finish new button added that is update and this button is grayed out right now it's not enabled why we can update only record when user will select the row from the table that's why it's disabled so here if you will select this one what property they added you can see the added properties as in the for the button variable this is the one variable default variable created oj table the id selected id is equals to null so this button will be graded out until the selected this variable selected id will be null so if you will go to the variable you can see this variable automatically created oj table this one selected id and how when this variable will having the value so if you will go to the main start designer and here once user will select any row any row of the table it means there will be one event happen so go to the select the table go to the event and here you can see in event we have one event automatically created the action chain that you can see change selected chain if you will select here you can see that variable we display here for making that button disable that variable is now updated with the employee view id you can see here So this is the way the button created in disable modes all this thing now we have to add and you can see once this button created even for the parallelly new page created that you can see the main edit employee right same way we can create another page so select the table go to the quick start and here you can see we have details space select the details select the employee and what all details you want to display so i want to display the employee id even i want to display the id of that record id employee code employee name age email and department and i want to display the creation date you can see the creation date and page name will be details button name will be details page title will be employee details and the page will be page name will be details employee click on finish so once we'll click on finish you can see the new button details buttons added automatically and the same having the same logic you can see that variable having null value then make it disable and new page created you can see the details employee page so again we want to add one more one more uh, button for deleting so go to quick start and here you can see we have the delete action select here select the object business object go next and here you can see delete ob added now change the button name to delete and here you can see the page have been created and the page name is okay so new page not required in case of delete that's why it's automatically button created why because if you will see this delete page having event if you will go to the event new event action chain created delete employee bio chain if you will go in that delete one they added the logic they added the logic for the rest one you can see they call the rest api to delete the employee and after that they added the logic for checking the all these details so this is the way we can create simple web application where we can display the business object details and perform the curd operation so let's execute this page now run the page the page will be loaded with all the buttons and the page tables details now here you can see we already done with the creating page if you will select any of the row 
it will enable the delete option, details option and update option. If we will go for update, it will display all the columns to update the details. So here I want to change the date as 20, age as 27 and the, the email as shr.gmail.oracle.com and we will save this record will be inserted into db updated record and here you can see the record. The third E003, Rahul Sarma having the updated age as 27 and the updated email. If you again here you can see if we have not selected the any record, all the buttons are grayed out except that create. If you will select any row, you can see this is all enabled now. Click on details, you can see the page will be open. The page name is employee details and all the columns having the details. We added in the detail case, we added ID columns too. Here we have the ID and we added the creation date. So you can see we have the creation date. So all the details we have available. If you will click on this back. It will move to the previous page. So here it automatically generated this page, right? And added the logic. In next video, I will create where I will I will create all this logic. I will create the page to perform that kind of logic. And here, if you will select the row and click on delete, that record will be deleted from business object. You can see the employee BO4 successfully deleted. And now you can see we have not that data. If we will go to the business object again. That one record, the third record has been deleted now. You can see. So, friend, this is the simple page we created where we perform the operations. If you have any other queries and you want to ask anything, don't forget to put a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video.